inner tubers. What do you do when someone gives you two big giant slabs of salmon that are left over from a super secret shoot? Well, you cook those fuckers, of course you do. Yes, and I'm gonna show you how I managed to feed some very picky people with two slabs of salmon. Yeah, if you're one of the vegans, deal, okay? I'm an actress and I feed everybody who comes to my house. Yeah. Now listen, kiddos, it's very important to me that you share my shit everywhere. I'm gonna tell you that early in the video this time instead of at the end. If you're watching this on YouTube, well, just share it. Share it and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little dinger bell, you know, the thing, the dinger bell. If you're watching this on Facebook, there's a thing that looks like a TV and it says follow the watch channel. I really, really, really need you to do that because Everybody needs to see my shit. Yeah, do that for me, okay? And now we'll get into the recipe. Oh my gosh, this was so amazingly delicious. My absolute favorite way to cook salmon is something that I devised because, well, I just don't have fancy equipment, right? I've got a lovely frying pan and I've got a cover that fix it perfectly and what else do you need, right? But the trick to doing salmon is to cook it face down. Yeah, face down, like if you're taking a suntan at the beach. Yeah, and I love to sprinkle some lemon pepper seasoning on it. Right here, you can see how you find that at the grocery store. Sometimes you have to look kind of hard, but lemon pepper seasoning, because that way it's not salty, right? Nobody needs a whole bunch of salt, particularly if you're older like I am and you might have blood pressure issues or you might have weight issues. So you season it, you put it face down in the pan, put a little butter in the bottom of the pan and make sure it's warmed up and melted. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. And then you put a lid on it. And the reason you put a lid on it is you want that shit to steam. Like taking a sauna kind of thing, you know? It needs to steam. So the skin peels off. Unlike what happens to us when we get in the steamer, our skin just gets all wrinkly. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, can't you just smell it? Mmm. Okay, so now it is time to take the skin off. This takes a little bit of dexterity, all right? Turn the heat down to very low, and it takes two hands and two tools. I'm using a spatula and a knife to very gently peel back the skin one little bit at a time. Yeah, you remember the fiasco we had with the fucking boiled eggs? And now you just throw that shit in the trash because nobody wants to eat that. Now here's another secret, okay? Listen up and watch closely. Now that you have the skin off the underside of the salmon, turn that fucker over so that you can get a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of warm on the other side. Yeah! Now you're going for the yummy. Now one of the things about salmon, or any fish really, is that it's gonna go bad really quickly. So I just cooked the whole bunch right away. And I put it into a container because I knew I could do a whole bunch of shit with it afterwards. I made sandwiches, I made a spread, and I've got people coming over for dinner and I'm gonna serve them salmon. Yeah. You know how I talk about getting inspiration at the grocery store, right? This time, my inspiration for serving this, because I had guests coming over, was that mangoes were on sale at the grocery store, and who can pass up mangoes? And here's how you just look at them and you squeeze one till it just gives a little bit. Like if you're pinching your grandkid's cheek, it gives just a little bit. You don't want to be mean, and you don't want to pinch it so hard that the next fucker who comes along to buy a mango ends up with one that's all fucked up. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that either. Now listen up, sweet fuckers. If I have to teach you how to cut up a mango, maybe that's a different video for the very basics. You peel it, you slice it, you cut it up, you eat it, it's yummy. That's all you need to know. The other part of the inspiration was that I found a little package of vegetables for stir fry. It was marked down, right? It had spinach in it and it had some zucchini and yellow squash and tomatoes and a few mushrooms. Oh fuck, this would be perfect because one person really likes fruit and the other person really likes vegetables. Both of the people coming over to eat were gluten intolerant, but they're still okay with carbs. So I made some white rice. Yeah, because I figured that would just be pretty. And I was gonna serve it on my red plates today, not my white ones. Sometimes you just have to go for the pretty, like me, right? 
So I reheated a little piece of salmon for each plate. Then on the one plate, I put the rice and then I sprinkled all the cut up mango over the top of it. Oh my fucking awesomeness. Delicious, orgasmic, amazing yumness. I just can't explain. Fruit and salmon just goes well together. You're probably asking where the pineapple was. I didn't have any this time. Next time, guys. Now for my other friend, the veggie freak. I still had the juice and the butter from having cooked the salmon, and I put the rice in it and stirred that all around. Oh, and then I added the veggies. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. I know, you can go oh with me. Come on, oh. Like that Harry Met Sally moment, okay? Yeah, and then I just served it up. Served it up. Oh, yeah. So hey, InnerTubers, that's it. Pretty simple summer dinner. It just doesn't take much work at all. There is a very special salmon recipe in my new cookbook coming out pretty soon, October 23rd. You can pre-order that shit right now. And actually, I have an Amazon store. There's a link to that right down below. And if you go to the section about books, you can buy my cookbook. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, I want to really, really, really appreciate all the people on Patreon who are supporting what I do. Yeah, they're amazing people. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, it, you can do so for as little as $3 a month. I would really appreciate it. There's a link for that down below too. And tiny sponsor, Holy McFutnuts. If you want to sponsor a video that I would do with maybe a product that you make or something that you'd like me to test out or a food you'd like me to try, check it out on Tiny Sponsor. And if you're a creator, well, you should be checking them out. I'm just saying. All right, one more time, the commercial to follow, the commercial to subscribe, the commercial for Patreon, the commercial for my cookbook, but never, ever, 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 ever forget that without you, I wouldn't be doing these videos. So, you know, Granny loves you, all of you, whether you like salmon or not. <laughs>